Hi guys, Julian here. Welcome to the weekly guitar meeting at Zika's Guitars. I hope you are doing well. I would say let's start straight away with the guitars of this week and the first one is a truly special guitar. This guitar is a dream guitar for a lot of professional classical guitarists. It's a guitar made by Daniel Friedrich. It's from 1977 and it's a concert model. So it's the highest guitar model what, uh, that Daniel Friedrich has built. And uh, this guitar has a cedar top and it has double sides uh, from Indian rosewood and also Indian rosewood back. I can't speak enough good things about uh, Daniel Friedrich guitars. And let's see how the guitar sounds. This is an incredible good guitar. I have really no words for it. It's um, somehow like piano, but at the same time, of course, it sounds like a guitar, but in terms of sustain, it's like you are, you are using the pedal of a piano and it just sounds, it has, a, it has such a long sustain with a very full tone. Usually you hear, if you listen to the sustain of the guitar, most of the times you hear the overtones. But in this case, the whole guitar is resonating for a long time and the balance of this guitar is um, just very, very, very good. I will play more on it. Today I'm going to play a whole concert on this guitar.
I mean, at some point I have to move to the next guitar. Somehow I feel that I'm a better guitarist if I'm playing on this guitar because everything works so well and I have also less difficulties to play some more difficult passages of a, of a piece. I don't know why, but I think it's because the guitar reacts so well in every position and everything is so well calculated in terms of balance, tone projection, also the difference and the wide uh, palette of the colors, what you can create. This is an absolutely amazing guitar. And uh, yeah, Daniel Friedrich from 1977. And let's move to the next guitar. This guitar is made by the Belgian guitar luthier Marie Lequeux. And this guitar is brand new from 2023 and it's a Daniel Friedrich model. And uh, this guitar has a cedar top and very beautiful cirrocoats back and sides. Let's see how it sounds. Also a very good sustain and a very even sustain. You can hear some signs of the Daniel Friedrich guitar sound in terms of sustain and it has a very sweet tone. Also the response of the guitar makes the guitar very easy to play in different positions. It has a very fast response. Let me know your opinion about the sound of this brand new guitar by Marie Lequeux from Belgium. And uh, yeah, let's move to the next guitar.
And now we will have three different Jose Ramirez guitars from Spain. And this one, so the first one is a Jose Ramirez from 2014 and it's a 1A model. And this guitar has a cedar top and Indian rosewood back and sides. Let's see how the guitar sounds. As I expected, a very Spanish sound. It has a very punchy sound. Um, in some terms, it reminds me also a little bit of a flamenco guitar. <laughs> reacts very fast. And let's move to the next Jose Ramirez guitar from 1979. And this guitar made by Jose Ramirez III is from 1979. It's a 1A model and uh, it's in a very good condition. I mean, from 79, I expected some more scratches on the guitar, but it's a very um, well kept guitar and uh, we have a cedar top and Indian rosewood back and sides. Yeah, I'm very curious how it sounds, especially in comparison to the other Jose Ramirez guitar from 2014. Beautiful, very well balanced, long sustain, and of course, a very bright Spanish sound. Thank you. 
Beautiful sounding guitar, very traditional, bright tone, but very good sustain. And it has a very driving, forward driving sound. And let's move to the last guitar of this week. It's also a Jose Ramirez guitar from 1965. And the last guitar of this week is also made by Jose Ramirez and it's from 1965. And this guitar has a cedar top. Oh, and it's a very well resonating top. Well, and uh, Brazilian rosewood back and sides. Let's get straight into the sound. Wow, beautiful, very elegant and charming sound. Really special sound. Very... I think this one has a really very special sound. It has a very elegant tone. It's a, it has a very bell-like sound and... And also very soft. So you can, it has a very elastic sound. You can shape the sound how you, how you want. And also a very long sustain. Wow. Very beautiful sounding guitar. And uh, yeah, from 1965. Please also let me know what how you compare these three Jose Ramirez guitars. Which one of them did you like the most? And uh, yeah, I'm very curious about your opinion. So it was also the last guitar of this week. I hope you enjoyed this week's weekly guitar meeting. Please leave a like if the video was helpful for you. Have a good weekend and see you next week.